So today on this video, we're gonna talk about WordPress and WordPress scalability. So the way that we always wanna build a WordPress site is we wanna build it so that it can grow with your brand or with your initiatives and with your goals of your company, et cetera. So what does that mean? It means that when we go ahead and you start to build and you start to build things out and you start to plan and you start to do all that stuff, if you can align your goals and your budget with what's necessary you know we believe in you know iteration we believe in minimal viable products we believe in starting small giving that to the world getting collecting analytics and collecting data on it and then from there going ahead and saying okay this is how people are going to use the site this is how we thought people were going to use the site how do we bridge the gap and bring the two worlds together <clears throat> and if we're able to do that then what happens is we can build something better for a brand then you can just from you know a lot of like hypothesis and stra strategy etc cetera, etc cetera. so sometimes it's best to start small you know like we're doing a bunch of projects right now that are you know classic brochure sites which are like five pages a home page services page about page contact page maybe a registration form something like that but we're gonna build it with some things in mind that when the brand grows we're not gonna have to scrap all that development and go back and start all over what we're gonna do then is we're just gonna go ahead and we'll be able to add on to it so that we can you know add on to it so that we can just start adding functionality or start tapping into different you know API's or, or et cetera et cetera so if you build things with growth in mind you're always gonna be better off and also if you build something and you start small what happens is when you give it to the world you're gonna see how people really use it and when you see how people really use it, you can bridge that gap between like what's hypothesis, what's assumptions, and what's real world data. So between all these things, you know, WordPress is the best tool to do that because it's totally scalable. And it can grow with your business as your business grows. It can also pivot as needed should your business need to pivot. So, hey, thanks for watching. For more topics like this, check us out on the new marketing show podcast, trinitywebmedia.com slash iTunes. And then we do these videos on Instagram, TV, and YouTube twice a week. So thanks for checking us out. We'll see you next time.